I am now on the student contacts form and am going to show or model how to add, edit, or delete contacts for your student in the Burlington School District. You'll note that this form looks different than it did in the past. Each contact that is associated with your student will be listed in a row like this. You may have one or more contacts that are already associated with your student. Going into the 2021 school year, we're going to update each row if needed, delete those that are no longer relevant or associated with your student, or add additional. Note that each student needs two emergency contacts for this form to be complete. If you need to edit a contact for any reason, what we'll do is head over to this pen icon over on the right-hand side of the screen. So right now, if I want to edit Gloria Ormsby, I will click the pen icon here and note that this will come up. You can edit name, other demographic information, address, phone number, email, and then what we refer to as permissions. These permissions show up as check marks over here and are quick ways to denote or show if a contact lives with the student, is an emergency contact, has custody, can pick up a student from school, and then receives mail. Once you've determined that a contact's information is, is as correct as you can make it, what you will do is press save. Now that I've edited Gloria, it'll be time for me to look to the next contact, Margaret Talbot. At this point, this information looks correct, so I will leave it as is. Now it's time for me to look at this third contact and see if there's anything I need to do to update this emergency contact. I know that Peanut is allowed to pick up my student, so I need to go in and edit Peanut's contact. If I want to change the permissions for a contact, I'll scroll to the bottom. I'll click yes for school pickup and then I'll press save. At this point, I know I need two emergency contacts for my student, and I only have one at the moment. I will go in to this form now to add an emergency contact. Because this is a test account, I am just going to create a test neighbor. There they are a test phone, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, a test email, and then I will set the permissions for this contact, for this neighbor. If they are an emergency contact, I will click yes. They don't live with my student. They don't have custody. They do pick up my student from school occasionally, and they don't receive mail. I'll press save when I'm done. If at this point you need to delete any contacts that are associated with this student, if you would like to delete this contact, press the X button here. It will then prompt to say if you are sure. If you definitely want to remove that contact, you would press yes, remove. If you are associated with more than one student in this portal, for example, up here, you can see that I am associated with two students. Once you update this list once, it will give you the option to apply this list of contacts to your other student. If you are applying this list of contacts to multiple students, 
there would be an option to check a box next to multiple students. When you get to this form in Gracie's annual student update, this updated list of contacts will automatically appear. If I'm ready to apply this list of contacts to my other associated students, I would press submit and you are good to go.